Welcome back to TV5 News at 9. It's time now for Medical Moments with Covenant Healthcare. Joining us this morning is Dr. Jason Kuhn, a bariatric surgeon with Covenant Healthcare. Jason, thank you so much for being here. Can you explain what bariatric surgery is for those who don't know? Uh, sure, and just let me go ahead and start by saying thank you so much for having me. Uh, yeah, bariatric surgery is a surgical subspecialty that we offer patients who are in what's considered the morbidly obese range. And what that means is uh, it's a measurement of your body weight to your body height, and it's as we unfortunately define weight in the medical world. Um, but what bariatric surgery does is it effectively changes the way that your body handles food. We offer two operations at Covenant, uh, the sleeve gastrectomy and the real and wide gastric bypass. The sleeve gastrectomy is affected by restricting the amount of food that you're able to eat, and then the gastric bypass is affected by restricting not only the amount of food that you're able to eat, but then the food that you do eat, you're not able to absorb the calories and the nutrients as much, and both those tools are helping you to lose weight. Gotcha. Changing the conversation about food then. What are some common misconceptions about bariatric surgery? Sure, that's a great question. Uh, so probably two of the biggest ones that I really like to emphasize to the patients are that first and foremost, it is not a uh, easy way out as unfortunately is commonly thought of in our, not only healthcare profession, but in the general populace. Um, bariatric surgery is not a, you know, shortcut to weight loss. The process leading up to bariatric surgery is involved. Um, it involves changing the way that you have a relationship with food, changing the way you view your life, changing your relationship with exercise. Um, it is a life-altering procedure in order to be successful, uh, which starts as soon as you walk into our office and ends never um, in order to be successful. And then the other misconception that I really like to emphasize to people is the safety profile of bariatric surgery. Bariatric surgery is extremely safe. It is not extreme. Um, you know, it has a safety, safety profile of having a gallbladder out, which is the most commonly performed general surgery procedure in America. Gotcha. Thanks for clarifying. The process for preparing for bariatric surgery is more in depth than many recognize. Can you tell us about it? Sure. So our process is quite in depth, as most processes are for bariatric surgery. Uh, we start with having an informational seminar for our patients, which is required for you to go to. Uh, that's offered three times a month. That informational seminar has two real big main goals. First and foremost is to figure out if you're a qualified patient for bariatric surgery. Um, I mentioned a little bit that unfortunately my entire life is driven largely by insurance companies. They decide who can and who cannot have surgery. Um, and just some of the guidelines for that is if your BMI, as I mentioned a little bit on, is greater than 35 and you have two medical problems associated with your weight, which is generally the big ones that we see here, high blood pressure, hypertension, diabetes, and obstructive sleep apnea. What if your BMI is greater than 40? If you have those parameters, you're going to, in general, qualify for surgery. Uh, the other big thing that we talked about in that seminar are kind of the different surgical options and deciding whether or not this is something that's right for you. After the seminar, our patients come and have a meet and greet with either me or my partner, Dr. Chad Bingley. Uh, you also meet with our dietitian. We just hired a new one this week. Her name's Misty Potts, and she's integral to your entire process, shepherding you through it. Um, after that, it's a whole slew of lab works, an upper endoscopy, a uh, physical therapy evaluation, a psychiatric evaluation, and then you'll need to get a letter of clearance from your primary care doctor. All in all, the process in general takes about six months, but again, that does vary by insurance company. Wow, six months. What are some of the benefits of the procedure? Uh, great question. Uh, so some of the substantial benefits are it just really wipes out and helps take care of a lot of the medical comorbidities or medical problems that are associated with obesity. A couple of those I already touched on were high blood pressure, diabetes, and sleep apnea. Again, those are just the most common that afflict the most people. Uh, for diabetes in particular, both the sleep gastrectomy and Ruga, room I guess, bypass are fantastic. It just not only reducing, but in a lot of cases, completely getting rid of the need of, for the insulin or the oral um, diabetic medications that our patients are taking. A lot of patients actually leave the hospital after surgery, not needing any of it all at all. And then for the high blood pressure, same thing, either a substantial reduction in the amount of medications patients need or none at all. And then, of course, sleep apnea, the more weight the patients lose, the more likely they are to get off that terrible sleep apnea machine. Wow, sounds like a real life-changing experience. Covenant also offers lifelong support after surgery too, is that correct? Oh yes, that's actually one of the things I'm most proud of in our program. Uh, we have a dedicated dietitian at our office that just does bariatrics, uh, which is fantastic. As I you know, said, we just hired a new one, her name's Misty Potts, um, and she really shepherds you through 
through the entire process. Pre-op, going through some of the life-altering things you'll need to put in place, how to start losing weight before your surgery, what to expect during your surgical process, and then really she's there for you for the life of the program uh, where you are able to reach out to her if you feel like you're struggling, if you've regained some weight, if you have any questions, she's just an email, phone call, or you can always schedule an appointment with her at no cost. Sounds like Covenant has a dedicated team. What should someone do if they are interested in learning more? Uh, so the first step, as I had said, was really to attend that bariatric seminar. Uh, we have three of those a month. Two of them are in person over in the Mackinac Surgery Center um, in the basement. Those are on the first and third Wednesdays. One's in the morning, one is in the evening. Um, and then, of course, since we live in the age of COVID, we now have a virtual option. And that is on confusing it's the second Monday of the month and that one uh, is actually picking up quite a bit of, quite a bit of steam. If you're interested in those we have um, you have to sign up for them. We have our phone number which is 989-583-4683 which you can call to sign up for uh, one of the seminars or you can go to our website which is covenantbariatrics.com and sign up for one of the uh, seminars as well. Gotcha so virtual and in person alrighty. Well, Dr. Kuhn, thank you so much for being with us today. If you'd like any additional information on today's topic, just head over to the Hotlinks page on WNEM.com.